Good morning. <coughs> um, uh, should we start off by praying this morning, asking uh, asking the Lord to give us what He wants us to to hear and what uh, He wants us to apply to our lives. <coughs> Dear kind and most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you today and ask you, Lord, to guide us and strengthen us and give us the wisdom to understand your word, Father. Lord, as I'm standing here speaking <coughs> to these people, Lord, that uh, with love and compassion, Lord, I want you to speak through me and and uh, put the words in my mouth that you want me to say, Lord. Um, thank you, Jesus, for another wonderful day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, um, I was going to start off this morning by talking about something, and, and and the Lord intervened, and He said, "No, Richard, you need to you need to talk about brotherly love today." So, so I got my Bible here, and I'm going to go through my Bible here, and we're going to discuss some verses <clears throat> that talk about brotherly love. Um, if you have your Bibles, great, you can turn with me if you want to. Uh, the book of John chapter 13 verses 34 and 35 says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have loved one to another. Uh, man, that's some good truth from God. Um, <clears throat> a lot of us men find it hard to love another man. Um, loving another man in Christ is, is, is awesome. It's awesome. Uh, as Christians, um, a lot of Christians, uh, good, good Christian men, find that a little easier. But those of you that don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, um, it, it, it's, it's hard. It's hard. I had a problem with it before I got saved. But um, <clears throat> let's look here in Romans. Chapter 12, verses 9 through 10. And it says, um, Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that is which evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love in honoring, preferring one another. <clears throat> um, you know, God has a way have shown his love for us. Um, I mean, look, 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 look at Jesus. Jesus was beaten every day. All day long he was beaten while he was carrying his cross to Calvary's hill. And he done it for us because he loved us. He died upon that old rugged tree because he loved us. You know, I don't understand what's going on here but a lot of people can sit there and say I'm a Christian I'm a Christian but what's really in your heart you know you men out there can you actually go up to another man give him a hug and say brother I love you brother I love you you know we need to do that we need to do that as Christian men we need to do that to show love towards other people um, in the book of 1 Thessalonians, uh, chapter 4, verse 9, says, <clears throat> But as touching brotherly love, ye not need that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. And in 1 John, chapter 2, verse 10, says, He that loveth, that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. Um, when 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 we're Christian men and we're saved and, and we and we claim to love God and we we claim to to follow Jesus, when we are doing stuff that another brother's having problems with, we're being a stumbling block for that brother. And God says right here in the Bible, He says, "Don't be a stumbling block to your brother or sister." Well, what are we doing every day? I do it. You do it. We all do it. I'm not standing here saying I'm perfect because I'm not. I can sit here and honestly tell you that I am a stumbling block to someone. I'm not sure who that is, but God's going to show me. God's going to show me what I need to change about my life. <clears throat> In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22, it says, Ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren 
See that you love one another with a pure heart. Fervently. A pure heart. Do you know what pure heart means? Well, to me, and to God, and to most everyone else, a pure heart means no blemishes in your heart for others. No holding grudges against people. You know, pure heart is a huge, huge thing. You know, we've we got to have a pure heart, people. We've got to have a pure heart. In uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 18, says, My children... Uh, Jesus says, My children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but indeed in the truth. And the truth, brother, is the word of God. In 1 John, uh, swing over there to chapter 4, verse 11, and says, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Okay, so <clears throat> we are to love one another if God loved us. Well, did God love us? Well, definitely God loved us. God always has loved us. He's loved us before we even came on this earth. He knew about us before we... He knew what our... What our what He was going to design us to do before we was even here. You know, He loves us. God loves us so much. Okay, let's put it this way. God can't even stand to break a blade of grass because that is His loved creation. A blade of grass. Now, if he can't stand to break a blade of grass, what do you think he thinks about us? How do you think he feels about us? You know, God loves us. God loves us so much. And it's pure. His heart is pure with love for us. <clears throat> um, if you flip over uh, here, um, in, uh, stay in John, cha uh, 1 John chapter 4, in verses 7 through 8, says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. Love is of God. Let's read that again. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone who that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth God, for God is love. Um, if you turn with me to to uh, Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 13 it says put on therefore as the elect of God holy and beloved bowels of mercies kindness humbleness of mind meekness long-suffering let's say those words again um, holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness humbleness of mind meekness and long suffering forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as Christ forgave you so also do ye and Colossians is telling us right there in the truth it tells us if we have a problem with someone if we have a quarrel against anybody we're to forgive them because 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 Christ forgave us. We are supposed to live our lives according to Christ. We're supposed to walk in the same footsteps as Christ walked in. we got to try. We're never going to be able to be as good as Jesus Christ. We will never reach that point. But I'll tell you right now, brothers and sisters, that we need to try our best to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Jesus loved. Jesus, oh, did Jesus ever love us? He loved us. I'm telling you, He loved us. But we got to understand that we got to love others like He loved us. You know, God gave His only Son, His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. What do those words mean to you? Oh man, break them down. It's so powerful. You men out there, how many of you men out there would take your only child And let the enemy crucify him on a cross, beat him senseless, and stand back and allow them to do that just to save everyone else in the world. Man, I'm telling you, that right there is love. We got to understand that love goes so far in the world. Love, respect, peace. We got to understand that love can bring us up out of the clutches of the devil. 
We got to grab that devil and we got to stomp on him. We got to take care of that devil. We got to tell him, devil, we're not going to hate. We're going to love just like Jesus loved. But you know, how many of us actually do that? We can talk it. We can act it out. But is it in our hearts? Think about that. Is brotherly love, is love for, for, for all the people of the world in our hearts and is it pure? I can sit here and say, everybody out there, I love you. I really do. Now, yeah, I get mad at some people sometimes, but guess what? I have to forgive because my God forgives me. If I don't forgive, how do we expect God to forgive us? Forgiveness is an awesome thing. If we're going to accept forgiveness from God, we got to give forgiveness to others. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, Lord, for another wonderful message from your word, God. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you for, for this uh, message on love. And, and may we apply it to our lives every day, Lord. Um, Lord, if uh, any, any of your children out there need to be with you, Lord, and, and need to accept you as Savior, Lord, please let them do that through your messages, Lord. Please let them uh, accept you, Jesus Christ, as their Savior, Father. Um, I pray that, that if there's any lost souls out there, Lord, that, that can come to you, Lord, I pray that they do come to you, Lord. Just thank you, Jesus, for another wonderful day, Lord. Give us safe, um, safe travels in our days, and give us um, the words to to fight with the enemy and fight with the devil, Lord, because we know that he is our enemy, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.